Okay, this is episode 11. Uh, just uh, this and two more left to catch up with where the aired episodes are at. So, let's go. Uh, this is the place? Are you, are you sure? sure? Seems, Seems odd. odd. I follow the directions. Although I've never been here before, so who knows, really? <laughs> just got a message that they're watching us. Enter by the maid uniform. The one to your right? I forgot who they were. I forgot who they were coming here to meet. This must be it. Daru? What are you doing here? Um, I'm pretty sure you just stole my line, buddy. I can't believe you've been the one analyzing the laptop. And I can't believe Lady Mon was the one who hired me. I gotta say, I never saw that one coming. Really tired of he didn't figure it out when it was Carisi's laptop. Clue how demeaning it is. Really? But I think it's so cute. Anyway, I'm kind of pissed at you guys for blowing the cover off my part-time gig. I have no idea you did this job on the side. Is that it? Yeah. Imagine my shock when I booted that bastard up and saw her name. There we go. I mean, Maki C. Carisi's personal laptop? And abort it. Do it right now. What? This is Are the smartest serious? thing Okabe said the whole time. Contained within that machine is destroy it. Malevolent information. Data with the potential to bring all of humanity to ruin. Delusional. So lame. What? Shut up. No joke. And it jeopardizes Suzuha's safety. Suzuha? Yes, her. You should be aware of that. If a time machine is. Never mind. Wonderful. She's too smart, Okabe, and you can't hide this stuff from her. Hold on. No, oh, well, actually, I decided that you deserve to hear the whole story. Sure. Oh. Yeah. I think it's unfair to continue to keep you in the dark. But before I tell you, promise me this. You won't try to save her, no matter what. Tell me you won't even consider it. Ocarine says that something urgent came up, so... Hmm. What's going on? No way! They know where the laptop is. They're heading there to get it. Skeptical. I wouldn't call it skepticism. It's just mind-boggling. It's one thing in theory, but you created a working time machine? A working time machine is still a ways off. What we created is different. We devised the phone way, which allowed us to send what we call D-mails into the past to alter the present. And there's the time leap machine. That's close enough in my book. The methods are relevant. The result is what matters, and you were able to manipulate the past. As for the real time machine, the fact that Suzaha's here in the first place means it exists somewhere, isn't that right? And what if it does? Huh? Not with me. Is this the reason you ordered me not to save Kurosu? Yes. The past cannot be. Or rather, it, it must, must not, not be manipulated, manipulated by, by man. man. I, I mean, mean, never. Because of it. But if we could save Kurosu somehow. somehow. He's worried she'll go back and try. And if she succeeds, then he'll go back to the beta world line where Kurosu's alive, but Mayuri's dead. And every everything, all the work that he already did will be undone. Here's the deal. The Americans are after it because the Russians already have her research in the form of Dr. Nakabachi's paper. The Americans know that. They know the Russians are doing time travel. We know that World War III starts between the two. So the Americans are going to get their hands on the laptop. That's how they get the research. That was the choice they need to make. Seriously? Yes. What about getting paid for my work? Because I already pre-ordered a new hentai that's coming out at the end of the month and can't return it. You truly despicable. Why? <laughs> Who dares interrupt our very important payment talk? It's him. Oh crap. Destroy the laptop now. How could you trap us down already? Okie dokie. Abandoned ship. 
we two make a run for it. But where can we go? They're already in the store. Quiet, or they'll hear you. This way. I can't believe it's come down to this. Me either. That was one of my favorite hideouts, too. Huh. Daru is strangely prepared here. A little athletic for him. Where are we? Behind the last building on the block. We made it this far. <laughs> Leave her alone! Wait, this is what you're after, right? Start by letting her go. No, don't give it to him, Okabe! Whatever you do, do not fight back. It's futile. You'll just make things worse. They're not bluffing. They won't hesitate to kill you. This computer is so unbelievably secure, the best hackers in the world have tried for weeks to crack it without success. And if you hurt her in any way, I will make sure that you never know what's on it. It's your choice. You let her go, I'll hand it over. You guarantee that all three of us will be safe, and I'll give you the password. He doesn't know the password. In other words, I I can't die right now. In which case... I can tell that you don't trust me, so release the girl, and I'll agree to be your hostage. No, Okami, don't. Well, then. He's using his brain, finally. Let her go, and it's yours. They don't want him as a hostage, though? Thanks for round us. Her other hand. They destroyed it! They're Russians. They destroyed the computer. That's what Okabe and Gang should have done in the first place, though. They already decided to do it. You sure you're... It's all my fault. I failed her. I couldn't protect it. Forgive me. I know I let you down. I'm sorry. I failed. She didn't fail. Nobody got the data, so it's fine. Are you sure you're okay now? Yeah. You never know. I guess you should have alcohol as well as some bandages. He's checking to see if it was her. But he's not checking everybody. It's hunch that it's America. Must be D U R P A Strapper. So the Russians came and opened fire. Why are you taking your time? I'm asking you that. You're supposed to just tell me you will. Otherwise, you're in danger. I'll stab an electrode in your hippocampus. I'll take you to Susan and it'll rhyme to you, too. Yeah. She's deliberately mimicking her. She said about this. I could absolutely see that without happening. They were all scared of her. I kind of thought she'd snap and murder her real someday. Does he even know how regular people react to things anymore, though, after everything he saw? Sorry, you're weak, but did he have regrets? To be the one to bear the torch for her, and yet... She couldn't get into it. It wasn't faded. But, she's feeling bad now about taking the computer, but actually, when you think about it, if she hadn't taken it, they would have gotten it earlier. Um, Carisu's house burning down was basically their attempt to try to get this computer. They didn't know it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. When Carisu finished the time loop machine, you were forced to repeat the same interval over and over again, weren't you? Yeah. And were you and Carisu? Never mind. So 
He doesn't really have a good answer for that himself. Sometimes they did tell each other how they felt. Sometimes they didn't. Whatever will you do with myself if I let the young Japanese Einstein slip right through my fingers? Love to have you on the team, Rintaro. Where's the other professor? I'll study hard and do my best to get accepted. You okay? Yeah. He's already going to yeah. university yeah. in Tokyo, though. Yeah. Nope. It's her. Okay, so we gotta address this. There is something really not right here, though. So, they're implying with the wound on her wrist before and her hand now that she's the one who's trying to get the computer, right? Um, she's the one who raided the lab, was trying to get Cadre. But this really makes no sense to me because we know she is Suzuha's mom. Suzuha knew her mom in the future. You think she would have known if at one point her mom was actively working against the the quote-unquote good guys of the series. So I'm really confused right now. Um, unless her mom was just super secretive and never told her that, and somehow they never figured it out, like she switches sides later and just never tells them about the past, but I don't think that's very likely. So I'm kind of confused. Maybe she's time-traveled as well from another timeline where she is a baddie? I don't know. There's so much going on. Since we know Kagura's already time traveled as well, or at least I, I'm assuming that since we're supposed to think she's uh, Karisu's biological daughter. What about Suzuha? Uh, she's, she's still, still struggling, struggling to accept the, the truth. truth. Uh, Karisu's computer's, computer's been destroyed. We can rest assured the conflict between Russia and America won't take place. No, you can't. But it still doesn't eliminate all possibility world history. But next. They still get it. You didn't change world lines. I can't promise that. See you. Okay? Someday, I hope you remember how to laugh. From the bottom of your heart. Doesn't seem like something a computer simulation would say. Okay? Thank you for everything. Especially for saving my life. That's quite a stretch. No, it's what happened. And I'm incredibly grateful. See you soon. In the States. Well, they so, can't end like this. The goodbyes exchanged. Professor Leskin and Hyanja returned to America. Something's gonna happen. Now anything changed. What about repeating? Nope. I don't trust her. Yep. She's got something. She's she's maybe she's the one with the hurt hand, and I this is just a red herring. Hmm. Come to me. I don't know much to say about that episode. It was uh, pretty solid, but I'm glad the computer's destroyed, but it seems to me that it should be meaningless because World War III happens in this world line. It doesn't matter how it happens or how it gets started. The fact that the Americans didn't get the research is meaningless. They'll steal it from the Russians or do whatever. Something will happen. They'll get it because it's an inevitability. We'll see what happens uh, going forward.